Wait. What do you want from me? Do you love me? Do you? I want to love you. I, I do. I, if you stay, I'll, I'll try. See, that's different than you and me. I know I love you, but I, I can't settle anymore. I, I can't sit there, buried in a book, pretending that it doesn't hurt me when you're taking someone else to bed. There won't be anyone else. I promise you that. Thinking about you leaving is breaking my heart. Please, please don't go. Um, there's an emergency town council meeting tonight. I need to warn you. We have some concerns about your handling of recent events. Look, we've had more trouble here since we hired you than before. We've had a murder, a suicide, a dog getting killed. Yeah, let's not forget the stolen fishing gear. It was a mistake to hire you or anyone else, for that matter, from outside. Well, now, the reasons for going outside were valid. Well, that may be, but some of the less lawful elements of this town, they look at this as some kind of a dare. Hey, we're not getting stitched up as much. It's true. Can I say something? Yes. Your trouble didn't start when you hired me. It started 15 years ago when someone killed Pat Galligan. <laughs> and whoever killed Galligan is still here. And it's the same person who killed Max Hawback. <laughs> no, Max killed himself out of guilt. Well, that's what the killer wants you to believe. <laughs> that's crazy talk. I swore to protect and serve this town, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So starting today, I'm officially reopening the Max Hawbacker case as a homicide. What? Come on! All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, we don't have time to waste on this. I'm going to call the matter to a vote. Now, hold on a minute. I move that we relieve Chief Burns of his duties immediately. He has a contract, Ed. All those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. You're out. What? Oh, come on. You can't do that. No. You can't do that. You just... You just Everyone railroaded just it. Calm down. Order. Order. Chief? Not anymore. I'm sorry. What's up, Steven? Luke was my parents' dog. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I did something. Something I shouldn't have. I took this from the cave. It's next to the body. My dad didn't have a pierced ear. Neither did Max. I'll make sure the state police get it. Thank you. You'll make sure the state police get it? What's that? You're just gonna walk away? I've been fired, Meg. So yeah, I might walk. There's nothing holding me here anymore. I asked you to marry me. You still haven't given me an answer. I can't give you an answer until I know where you want to be. You called her. You called your partner's wife. Yeah. Good. Good. So you're not here by default anymore. You're not running. I love you, Nate. I love you more than I thought I could ever love anyone. And I want to see you happy, so... If Baltimore makes you happy, then go. Be there. But if you stay... Stay and fight. And fight hard. Anything? No. Let's look through them again. And I know I've seen this earring. I thought for sure it was in one of these. Come on. Ah, uh, this is really not a good time. Meg? I see you and John talked. Here it is. I knew I saw it. This is who killed your father. Go home. 
I'm not leaving till you arrest him. I've known him my whole life, and he killed my dad and Max. All right. Well, we have to wait for Coven. You should get here just as the parade's wrapping up. So we're just going to sit around and wait to hand over the suspect? Yeah. No one gets hurt today. Bird! Meg! Bird! Meg! Bird! Nate! We're in the middle of Founder's Day, for Pete's sake. All right, what's going on? I called Coven to arrest Pat's killer. Who? How'd you get here so fast? I was at a hit and run not an hour away from here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Listen, you're gonna have to hang low until the parade is over. There's too many people here to risk him seeing you. Oh, wait a minute, didn't you get fired? I mean, if anyone's in charge here, it's your deputy. Oh, forget that. Lunacy's damn lucky to have Burns here. I agree. What are they doing here? Oh, great. What the hell is this? Coven, I told you, nobody shows up until the parade is over. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll decide who shows up and when they show up, all right? like you did to Max? Look, I did what I had to do. I mean, that's how you survive around here, isn't it? You're not gonna walk away from this one. I will drop you where you stand. You don't drop your gun. You all killed her just like you killed your partner. You can't live with that, can you? But I can. Meg! You know me, you bastard. You hurt her and I'll drop you like a sick animal. You killed my father. Meg, he's back. I'm not letting him take her. I won't either, but put down the gun. Hey! Meg! Uh, Meg! Are you okay? Uh, if anyone dies today, it's gonna be you. What the hell are you doing? My job. This is my town. Put down the gun, you son of a bitch! You're nothing, Burns. You don't even belong here! <laughs> And the bullet just grazed my arm, but, oh, God, it hurts like hell. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, don't you ever do something like that again. Ed switched lawyers today. He got some hot shot from the outside. You know, he now claims that he killed your dad in self-defense, that Pat went crazy on drugs and attacked him. And the money? He claims he won the 22 grand that showed up suddenly in his account in November 94. <laughs> Great. Hey, don't you worry. We have the Mackies that sold him the moose meat, and not to mention about, I don't know, a lot of people who have cell phone pictures of him shooting you. He'll do time. Let's go up down to the river. Oh. Well, that sounds good. We can lie down and make love until we're too weak to move. Now that. Sounds even better. Frostbite might get you. The cold? It's not so bad anymore. I think I'm finally getting used to it. Not bad for a chachaco. <laughs> You're not that anymore. 
you are one of us. You never told me if you'd marry me. Oh, yeah, right. That. Hmm. Yes. Yes. 